so today we're going to start to attack some of the problems with the masts and the rig in general. <laughs> Not good. It feels terrible disassembling the boat. Holy You see it lifting the boat? Yes, that's the end. Now it's time to get to work. Wait, wait, okay. You got it. Oh boy. Are you okay? Yeah. We're just destroying the boat right mm. now. Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough cash to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean. For the past couple months, we've been working hard on boat projects in Bocas del Toro, Panama to prepare Atticus for her biggest challenge yet, crossing the Pacific Ocean. All right, good morning, guys. So today we are starting on what is probably the most important set of projects that we have to get Atticus ready for the Pacific crossing. And that is we're going to start to attack some of the problems with the masts and the rig in general. We haven't gotten to these projects yet because the yard here has had some issues with the crane lately, but now they're totally ready. We've only got about two months to go before we wanna be crossing the canal. So we've got a lot to do in that much time. So we're pretty nervous about how much there is to do. Anyway, today we're going to be getting the masks ready so that we can pull them tomorrow morning. So let's do it. Covers. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. It's so sunny. So I've got to be real careful because these mainsail cars have ball bearings in them. The cars have this little metal rail that keeps the balls contained and from spilling all over the place, but it's not 100% perfect. And so there's a couple balls missing out of this one. Now we got to See if we can't find these freaking bearings. Oh, oh, oh. oh, going your way. <laughs> just to be safe, I'll use some of this masking tape and just kind of tape these up so that the balls don't go flying all over the place. I gotta take this little piece of track off here. I might even need the uh, impact driver because that's been in there for a while and it's steel and aluminum, so it's fused a little bit. That's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Not good. I stripped the actual slot for the Phillips head. The bit can't grab anything without just slipping and damaging the head even more. The real problem here is that it was already damaged before I kind of started uh, trying to remove it. So when I installed it, I don't know what happened back then, but I, I stripped it a little bit already. So the best thing to do at this point is just let this PB blaster soak for a little bit. Okay, so we've given it uh, a little while, so I'm gonna give this a go again. No. Well, it's just stripped. It's just totally stripped now. I'm gonna have to cut a slit in it with a grinder, potentially be able to use a flathead bit to unscrew it. Either that or just cut the head off.
That's why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> right there. Good thinking. The main lesson learned there is the moment that you start having a hard time with a fastener like that, just hit it with some penetrating oil and then and then give it some time. I'm gonna take the wind generator off of the mizzen. I'm just too worried about damaging it. That's how so many of these projects are. It's like the goal is to take the masts off, but the things we have to do are just absurd, like disconnect the wires for the wind generator and take off the through deck clam. It's just, it all adds up really freaking fast. So now I'm going up the main and I've got to detach the triadic stay, which is the stay that attaches the top of the mizzen to the top of the main. So I just disconnected the wires that go through the deck and up the main mast. I'm gonna pull these through the deck so that we can pull the mast and separate from the boat tomorrow. We're actually gonna be pulling the mast at the boat yard, putting them on Atticus horizontally, and then bringing them back here. There's some space in the marina where we can do work. We'll probably use the hard top to support the aft end of the mast, and then I'm figuring put this sawhorse on the foredeck. Hey boy, what you working on now? Well, I'm taking all the cotter pins out of the turnbuckles so that tomorrow we can get all the shrouds loose and off as quickly as possible. How do you and feel? I'm do totally beat, <laughs> yeah. It feels terrible disassembling the boat, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Because every little thing I undo, I know it's gonna take me that much time, if not twice as much time to put it back on, you know? It, it feels like I'm going backwards. At the same time, I guess it's a relief to finally be diving into the project that I probably am dreading the most, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you feel? Ugh. I'm tired for sure. Um, yeah, but I think I'm less anxious than I was this morning. This morning it just felt like this really daunting project that was gonna be way more than we can handle in a day. Yeah, well, let's yeah. let's wrap it up. Good job, That's buddy. Good. Thanks. You did good. <laughs> We're a little bit behind, 7.17, and it's time to go to the boatyard. Yeah, so it's a two hour motor to get over here. So we had to leave it around seven. Ugh, it just feels like so much work to even just start the project. <laughs> and we're getting closer. So, getting more nervous. <laughs> well, it looks like it started raining, so hopefully that won't deter our plans too much. It's just gonna be a little bit more messy. <laughs> Oh. 
tarjeta sale. Ella no va a correr. ¿Ok? Ah. Y esto para el frame. Ok. Aquí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero si la hacemos grande, ya está hecha. Just do. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. Why not? I like you're not better than yeah. mine. <laughs> Ahí puede subir. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, she'll, she'll take me. Doing bad? Well, he wants two lines attached to the bottom of the mast going to either dock, uh -huh. and that just allows them to control the position of the bottom of the mast. Now we're going to need a Once we yeah. loosen this up, uh -huh. we're going to tie all of them to the mast. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're gonna turn the boat around here so we can get the mizzen closer to the crane. We'll put the loop around and then tie like a line to the loop. Uh -huh. And as he lifts the loop, oh. we can use the line to work it uh, around the yeah. radar reflector. That's a good idea. I think that's good. Okay. So then we can bring the other one and put it on the other side. Line, lashing line that we're putting on. Just getting all the the mass on here real good. Muchas gracias, amigos. Bien hecho. <laughs> gracias, amigo. <laughs> gracias. Thanks for all your help. You happy? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> now it's time to get to work. How are you feeling there, bud? Uh, well, I'm relieved that that went well. Nobody was hurt, nothing was damaged. All my anxiety about pulling the mast was 100% about the mechanics of it um, and just worrying about things going wrong or falling or whatever. And I kind of forgot that actually the most complicated part of it would inevitably be communication and not only just human to human communication, like the normal stuff that happens when you're pulling a mask, trying to work together with lots of different people and kind of judge their comfort level and their skill sets. But having to do that in Spanish also, that was pretty intense. <laughs> 
Yeah, true. <laughs> it's a very weird feeling. We're on the cusp of trying to cross the Pacific. You know, we're trying to prepare for this massive ocean crossing. And yet we're, we're like taking the boat apart. We're like completely <laughs> disassembling the boat. Yeah. It feels wrong. Yeah. It's stuff we gotta do. So I gotta just get it in my head, you know? Yeah. And if we end up being a little late for starting the crossing, then whatever, yeah. you know? This. Yeah. Yep, you're good behind. Oh man, well, we made it back to our slip. Ugh. The masts are <laughs> off, they're over in place, and the boat is a complete disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. We're just destroying the boat right mm -hmm. now. Oh, anyway, so we're just gonna tidy up and rinse the boat because it's just a mess. Gross. And then, <laughs> like, go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Bedtime, four o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Thanks. You, you did good. Ugh. Yeah. I'm pooped. We did it. Oh. I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Thank you. And overtime. I'll talk to HR. Okay. Did you get the OT? Uh, write that down. We'll have to talk about that. Mm. Who's the boss? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Oh, just to be safe, I'll use some of this masking tape and just kind of tape these up so that the balls don't go flying all over the place. Nobody wants that. Nobody likes a loose set of balls. True that. I know I don't. <laughs> 